Welcome back to the workshop. Today, we are finally moving on to some mechanical work and removing the rear subframe on my classic mini. But before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you for your incredible support. Yesterday, I uploaded my first video across all of my socials and within 24 hours, 20,000 of you had watched and engaged with my content. Thank you so much for all your amazing comments. All right, that's enough talking for me. Let's get started with the removal of the rear subframe. From the moment I first got this mini, I knew I'd need to remove the rear subframe due to some rust hiding behind it. To prepare for this, I've been regularly oiling the mounting bolts as these bolts are notorious for seizing and snapping. I started by setting up my wheel chocks to prepare for jacking up the mini from the rear. Since removing the rear subframe means there will be no structural areas for the jack stands, I'll need to distribute the load with a piece of wood across the width of the car. In order to do this, I removed the exhaust, the handbrake cable, and disconnected the brake and fuel lines. A little tip to get more leverage on stubborn bolts such as these ones I came across is to use a second spanner. Next, I disconnected the upper shop mount points and placed a jack under each end of the subframe. I then loosened the bolts holding it in place. With some butane heat, back and forth persuasion and more WD-40, most of the bolts came loose except for one. So I drilled off the hex head and then used a punch to remove it. By using heat, the idea is to expand the metal around the shank of the bolt. With the help of Alex, we lowered the subframe slowly to the ground. I plan to get it sandblasted and powder coated as this is cheaper than buying a new one and the condition isn't really that bad. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here in the workshop for episode four.